Welcome back to the channel. I'm wanting to give a overview of my controls and how to make it easier to manipulate the ICP and BMS. So setting up your controls to the keyboard allows you to control the DED from the ICP easier than having to move your hand off your mouse or off your stick and use your mouse to actually manipulate the ICP in 3D. So here I'm going to first talk about what the defaults are. So in default, F1 is COM1, which is your COM1 here, it'll click that button. You could manipulate your comms. COM2 is F2. F3 is IFF. F4 is ICP list. 5 is AA and 6 is air to ground. So I've changed this, but this is what it is in uh, by default in Falcon BMS. I'm going to the keyboard here. This is what I have for my, my setup. I do have F1 and F2 as COM1 and COM2 for the easy easy access to do, to uh, those two pages on the CNI on the CNI page on the DED so I, I would be able to press F1 it would take me to the com page for com1 I could put in the the frequency and then press enter and I have the frequency in there I'm gonna go over what my controls are on the ICP so for the ICP first of all I have the DCS the dopper switch as the the, the arrow keys which makes, makes it really easy up down left and right Gonna move over here to the ICP numbers. So all of these numbers, one through nine and zero, is all the numbers on the ICP. The period button on the number pad is the list. So if I press the, the period button, I'll click the list. I'll go into the list on the DED. Enter is the enter button. RCL is the recall button right here. So if you make a mistake, you can basically, it's a backspace. The dash is warning reset, so it would toggle or it would uh, temporarily go to warning reset. So if I have the fuel or there's a, uh, a warning that's on my HUD, I could click this button. It'll automatically or it'll toggle it and clear it. Moving on to the drift co. So this top button here, if your HUD is out of line because of the wind, it will set it towards the center. So you can see a little better at altitude. It's not all the way off to the left or the right. But when you're landing, make sure you click that again and it'll correct it for the wind on your landing so you you know when you're which way you're crabbing. So have have that as a toggle. I have the asterisk or the slash as the IFF so it'll click this button right here so I can go click IFF and go to the IFF page. The next waypoint and previous waypoint so that's a, a shortcut cheat in BMS. So you see this little this two arrows right here. So this these two arrows need to be on the line for you to manipulate it but with this i have next waypoint and previous waypoint this line or this arrows could be over here and i could click next and previous it'll go to the next waypoint and the previous waypoint without this these arrows having to be on this line because usually you would have to ha you would have to dobber up or down to put these arrows on the line you want to manipulate so for example the 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 arrows are here you would have you would have to go up or down on the ICP next button, ICP previous button, which is this rocker switch right here. And then it would it would go up or down based off of this button. And I have that set as home and end. So I have both buttons set up if I want to change something uh, using the rocker switch or I want to change it using the next waypoint and previous waypoint. And that's just about it for how I have my keyboard set up. It's it's very helpful when it when you when you have your keyboard as your ICP. Just wanted to make that video, and uh, hopefully you guys learned something. And uh, make sure you comment any questions you have in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.